Yo, what is up everyone? How's it going? And welcome back to Get Jacked here in Ark Survival Evolved. Now, what we're going to be doing for this video is we're going to be getting started here on the center map. Now, I just wrapped up my playthrough on the island. You know, I've been playing on that since the game released, so a really long time and, you know, it's time for a change up. I'm going to be putting my main base here. Oh god. <laughs> The one place that we can't jump to get on this, this log bridge. Let's jump on the correct part. And I just want to go see what's up here, actually. This is, uh, I believe I put this in one of my base building locations, but I, I didn't come onto it on foot, so I'm, I'm wondering, can I gather some stuff up here? This is actually super cool. Why is there a parasite? I wonder why this guy's up here. You just passing through, buddy? You're just checking out the, uh... <laughs> the metal nodes? What are you doing up here? I don't know. But anyway, what we're going to be doing is getting started on a base. Now, I'm going to skip the me getting getting started. As you can see, I'm already hungry and probably going to die here pretty soon uh, before I find the location that I want to build on. So, I'm going to skip that part because it's just going to be frustrating. I'm going to actually be doing a huge base build for this part, getting our, our big base area started. So, I'm going to get all that, you know, started and we'll be right back. Alright, so this is pretty far into the future. Actually, I did a lot of stuff, found a spot, and look at this though. I actually started building before I realized. Check out this water. <laughs> what is... This is so cool, actually. You could totally hide. Now, if you're on the center map and you're looking for a place to hide in PvP, all you gotta do is just log out in a stream because you're fine. No one's gonna see you, I guess, unless they walk under the water, but I mean... Who knows? This is a good spot. So anyway, <laughs> what I've got going on, I've got, you know, the basics. We've got our forge smithy, blah, blah, blah. Everything that we can get started with. But check out this area. It is so cool. But it's massive as well. So I'm going to have to, like, during this kind of series that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to have to do things quickly. I'm going to have to be doing uh, big parts of the build all at once. So we're if you see big chunks of this build being done in one episode, that's why. Because this area extends like through this whole part of the redwoods and i want to take advantage of all of it so the uh the beginning part we saw our bedroom and kind of like the beginning of the crafting area now this is where i'm getting the uh the resources right now because we've got our metal and tons of crystal actually up here in this spot so i've got a ladder going up here i know someone mentioned in the comments in the last video that i should put an elevator up here not yet if any of you have ever built an elevator, it's ridiculous. And I'll, I'll save up, but definitely we'll be getting an elevator up here at some point. But anyway, this is where we're located, and now we're going to get started on a huge build on the pond down there. Alright, so here's the pond that I speak of. It's right down the waterfalls from the base. Oh, we've got a black and white one. And what I'm going to actually do is, there's the base right up there, is we're going to actually get to fence off this entire thing so that these beavers are all stuck in there and they can only produce cementing paste for me. I'm going to protect them, but I'm not going to tame them because I want them to produce these beaver dams and I hope they'll still do, do that if I uh, wall them off. So the rates on the server are boosted by quite a bit, especially for the first week just as people are getting started on the server. I kind of did that as like a little incentive. Uh, but anyway, the rates are boosted, so I'm going to be taking advantage of that and, you know, building a huge base <laughs> in the first week or so. So what I got to do is get our fence foundations going and we're going to get started here. Alright, so this is, uh, I'm gonna be honest, this is taking a lot, it's gonna take a lot more than I thought. This is gonna be huge. This pond is a lot bigger. Everything in the center is just scaled up so huge, it's hard to fence off, like, a whole area. So, uh, one thing I did want to bring you in on and kind of show you is, uh, I know I've gotten a few comments, I've mentioned how I, like, free placing... Um, fence foundations so if you are free pl placing them as you can see I can actually just slide this one up without it actually connecting now the benefit of that is when you snap them on you can only get them at certain angles so if you have like a little like I'm trying to border this water line exactly you can't do that by just snapping them it's the arc mechanics are too stupid for that so you can't actually like snap it and bend it any way you want see like that's where I could snap it right there, but I don't want it there. I want it right here. So if you actually, oh, you got to overlap it just a little bit in, in that, and then it'll come perfectly together. So we're going to be doing, honestly, I hope this all works after uh, these fences are down. All right, we've got to murder something. 
I've never actually realized how much health these things have, the Diplodocus. Oh my god, I've been fighting this thing forever. I just wanted the prime meat because I knocked out something pretty intense. Okay, it's finally dead. Oh, it's level 80. Alright, let's get just the massive amounts of prime meat that come with a boosted server. What are we gonna get? A decent amount. But anyway, what I've got down is a Carno. He actually came in, he got stuck inside of my fence, and I got really scared and tamed him. I, di I didn't actually film any of it, but he's over here on the rock. Uh, so I'm gonna actually get all this prime meat going. He should be pretty close. I've been, I've been just starving him over there. Because I've been trying to kill this Diplodocus for like 10 minutes. Seriously. About 10 minutes I've been piking that thing. So, let's run over here. And he's right like right up on top of this rock. So I figured we might as well tame him up. So, this isn't just like a normal any everyday Carno. This one was level, I think, 145? Let's get over here. See, he's right up on top of that rock. And I actually have to use the freaking Pteranodon to get up here to feed him. Because I can't climb on this rock. I don't know how he got up here. Uh, so, I knocked him out, and he should be all set, or pretty close to actually being tamed. Let's see how much of this, of this, uh, blah, 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 he eats. <laughs> so, let's see here. Eat all that. He's still hungry. Just throw all that in there. And this guy's just gonna passively tame up while we're, we're hanging out, building this, because this is taking forever. Look at that. He has been sitting over here for quite a while, though. That was, like, six pieces of prime. So, this one's gonna be, because the... The dino levels are actually a lot higher on the center map, so this dude was like 145, which is just awesome. Uh, so anyway, what we've got going on, I'll just jump right over this, is I've put the fence around the entire outside, and now I've also laid pillars in front of every fence wall. And the reason behind that is we're... Oh, crap. I got a little distracted and <laughs> didn't build up any ceilings. So I'll just break a couple of those, build some ceilings so I can show you this. Also, I'm completely naked again because that Carno, I, he wrecked all my armor, which sucks <laughs> because I got to go all the way up to the top to build some new armor. So anyway, we will put this here. As you can see, I can't put it above where that the door is because there's not a pillar in front of it, which I don't get this mechanic, but I mean, we're going to work with it. So as you can see, I can put these on all of these pillars, just not the one or all the ones with pillars, just not the ones without. So that's kind of like a little tip. That's how I'm going to build a roof off of fence foundations because normally if you use fence foundations, you can't just build a roof off it. But if you use pillars like this and then overlap the ceilings, we can actually get hopefully a nice little catwalk railing area above this. So I'm going to do that. Oh my gosh, the gathering here. All right, so here we are. I'd like to say it's done, but it's not quite done it's mostly the shape is is done this is what it's gonna look like so I'm behind the waterfall I figured I'd put this little kind of balcony behind the waterfall this is kind of like the bridge from side to side and I think it turned out pretty cool right here but what, what I mean when I say it's not completely done is the outside looks nice and flush like look at the the fence going along the whole outside it looks nice but uh, the ceilings just because some things were uneven along the way uh, some of the ceilings and railings just didn't fit on well, so there are some patches where... Oh, I couldn't jump it! I thought I could. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be so cool being able to jump up there, but nope. Okay, any... Wait, what is this? That's not mine, is it? Oh, it's not. Okay. It scared me for a second. I thought that was my bird. What are you... What happened to you? He, he obviously ran into the fence and just... Ugh. That would be a horrible death. But I got to remove this door still, but it's just my way in and out for the moment or for the time being. Okay, yeah, he just murdered himself. That's horrible. Okay, so over here, we'll go over here first. What I've got is the beavers are all locked up. Look at this. Where are they? Oh, I don't even see any now. There are like six of them in here, actually. And it's actually really cool to see them swimming around like crazy. But, I mean, they're my slaves now. <laughs> they just have to create beaver dams. They're not allowed to leave this area. But, I mean, it's it's a good it's a good relationship because they're safe. Things like this crazy high Carno, 239. I mean, I've leveled it up a couple times after taming it, but it was a perfect tame off Prime. And I think it tamed out at, like, 229, which is insane. Like, that is good. that's a good car, no. So anyway, uh, I've got the railings up top all the way across. Now, like here in this spot that we're at, not too much. Or I mean, there's a little bit of overlay with that, which I don't like. 
that's what kind of annoys me that some of these ceilings just are not the way I want so as you can see I couldn't put the ceiling there because the door is still there so I gotta fix that but I've got a little a little starting shelter I think this will probably be either the dung beetle or the dodo pen <laughs> I think I'm just gonna add pens onto the the inner ring of the this area so that I can add you know, like in my last build, I had all of the dinosaurs in cages around like the central central area. I'm going to do that, I think, but facing towards the inside of this pond, which is really sweet. And I put a railing on this inner part, but it was so jacked up that I just left it. I just took it off. It was too ugly. So let's swim over here. I'll show you the crazy ladder that goes all the way up to the top. Like this thing takes a long time to go up oh look at the beavers just swimming around this is awesome this is like a your own little personal swimming pool okay I, this is take forever this is actually really far i might have to buff up my uh, o2 so i can actually swim across this thing it is it kind of looks like as you can see like it looks a little foggy too because of all of the the splash from the, it reminds me of like niagara falls or something it's that's the cool part about the center map all of these awesome waterfalls all right, so this is the, the massive rope ladder that I've got. This goes from the bottom here all the way to the top part of my build. And that's that. So I think right in this back part where it's a little bit thicker, that's I'm going to add another building onto there and maybe another building onto this other part off to our right now. So I think that's what I'm going to do with this. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think uh, otherwise. But that's where we're going to stop for today. I'm going to get going on a lot more building and hopefully find some more of these really high-level dinosaurs. That was really cool to actually grab. Uh, I need to build a saddle for them as well. But anyway, if you liked the video, definitely smash that thumbs up and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You all have a great rest of your day. And, of course, we'll catch you next time.